Hello YouTube, what is going on? It is LS Kid here, and I'm bringing you another Medal of Honor Frontline walkthrough, and basically that whole spiel at the beginning was uh, I have to signal a bunker or whatever for this carrier to come by, I've gotten, I don't know, it's not really important, but uh, basically your, your goal is to get to the top of the bunker and uh, signal the thing. So I'm um, right here, I didn't even have to walk down and that almost killed me. Basically all you have to do is shoot the uh, blue barrels which are pretty much right in front of you. And um, that's what I noticed right there, so um, that's what I show you guys right here. I, I just shoot them and that'll basically kill everyone around there. And um, at the beginning too, there's uh, three other guys with me and then the one guy walks out and gets killed. Uh, I kind of feel sorry for that guy. Doesn't know what the hell he's doing, some friggin... Guy tells him to go walk out in front of a great big man machine gun. You think you do that? And, um, I'm sorry, but I haven't played this game in a while, so uh, basically I'm just using my Colt for the first bit here, and then I just try and fool around with the controls to figure out uh, which way I can switch my gun. And, um, so yeah, this whole level, it's uh, the same, it's part two of like the same level for, um, from D Day, and uh, that was the first commentary for the um, well, the first walkthrough. Um, I'm gonna put that in dis the description because I know it was a while ago. And um, if you're just starting watching these now, um, you might want to go check that one out before you watch this one. And um, yeah, you know, I'm really starting to get bored of Call of Duty. I'm still gonna be making the videos and stuff like that, but um. Yeah, right there, I uh, there's some guy sitting on the radio, basically just walk right in and shoot him. And uh, right there, that's a that's one of the um, secondary obje objectives. I'm pretty sure you have to uh, destroy the radio link. And um, it's it's kind of weird in here because um, it's like a bunker, but then it goes into like kind of like a cave area. You'll see that in a minute. But um, yeah, that guy's trying to butt guns with me. Meanwhile, kick his ass. Um. Uh, I'm not sure if you can even change difficulty in this or not, but if it is, it's probably on, like, the easiest one. Because I, I just don't understand how, like, I could have so much more health than all the rest of these guys. And, um, it basically I'm taking out an entire bunker single-handedly, which I don't really think that makes much sense. But, um, heck, this was, like, my favorite game back in the day, and, uh, it made sense to me then. So, um, that guy right there, he's, I think he was coughing. He, I think he's sick or something probably uh, dehydrated and starting to starve and all that it's not it doesn't really look like there's not much food and look at that guy up there he's trying to trick me he thinks that he's all tough and then he just falls down dead atta boy I, I I actually really feel uh, sorry for these German soldiers though man like um th this one guy right in here I'm pretty sure he's trying to steal some food and he drops his crate like he, they're just trying to like live I mean they don't have any food or anything I have I found that one really pretty cool right there, how he's stealing the food. So, um, yeah, for sure there's a bit of humor in this game. Um, I know the multiplayer is pretty sick, you can be like this, uh, old grandma chick. And, um, basically I'm going to be making a whole bunch of other commentaries. Not commentaries, what the hell am I saying? Um, I'm gonna be making a lot of other walkthroughs, um, I'm gonna be making this, um, Probably a lot of my old Xbox games I'm going to be making walkthroughs for. Um, I'm only going to make them uh, basically based on shooter games though. Because that's what my uh, channel is. It's all like shooters and war games. So um, this is an early first person shooter I'd say. Um, so yeah the guns are basically all World War 2. It's like I'm using the Thompson, the M1 Grand, the Colt. Um, yeah, this is what I mean right here. There's, uh, caves in the bunker, and I don't understand why the hell there would be a cave in a bunker. 
especially for like these guys that are uh, hiding out in here I mean you think that they uh, take the time to make like stronger walls right here this is just like a little kind of a hint thing you can just walk around and kill them both but if you're playing on a higher difficulty it uh, gets really hard so I'm um, basically just kneel down and uh, shoot the barrel in between them through those cracks like you've seen and um there's a couple uh actually there's quite a few little good little uh things like that in this game that's what i really like about it and um yeah i'm basically just staking out all these guys are staking out and um yeah like i said before i'm not going to be stopping making call of duty videos or anything like that because i haven't really been playing cod that much and really just haven't gotten that many good clips or anything like that for my montages and also you know I've really not I haven't been getting that much support like um a few of my videos I've been getting like 50 plus views and then some of them I'm getting like four views which was my last one for God. so I'm, I'm just basically thinking that maybe if I make a few walkthroughs and maybe I'll get some more support so, um, you guys probably don't want to uh, hear me spiel about all that shit though so um I'm quite sure that all you Canadians have just basically started school, not at the beginning of this week, which it would be today, but um, last week. So right there, I just kill that guy and uh, shoot down the friggin' radio thing. You don't need to shoot the radio thing, I don't think, but um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Right here, I'm trying to figure out what the action button is. And oh, this is pretty funny right here, and um, it's actually getting close to the end of the commentary, so um... Yeah, look at that guy. He doesn't even notice that I'm there. Shoot him. I just, like, clear that whole bunker. These guys are clueless that I just, like, freaking pop open the door and all that. But, um... Yeah, so I just cut to this, uh, little cutscene, I guess. Um, just some guy screams. Well, the head guy screams or whatever. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be coming up pretty much right about now. And now I need to basically mark this bunker and the level is pretty well done and um, it's going to be going to a cutscene now. So basically as soon as you mark the bunker you need to run out really quickly before it bombs it and uh, as of here you are done. Excellent work Patterson. This mission was tough but you've proven yourself to be exceptional. Division's moving on to Fearville. We're replacing you on a special mission. Good luck Patterson. June 6, 1944. 175,000 Allied soldiers breached the walls of Fortress Europe through intense German resistance. By late June, Sherberg had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried Line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea, and air, what could go wrong? 